right, so now that we're on the bench, we're going to rebuild this gearbox. We're going to replace the output shaft with the, a new one. And also, we're going to install Dirty Bike Bearing and Seal Kit. It's all the bearings and seals that you need to rebuild this transmission gearbox. So we've drained the oil back out in the bike and we just want to clean it up a little bit so it doesn't, you know, drop stuff everywhere. We're all going to clean it inside, but just make sure there's not not the big chunks. Put it down a little bit. There's also going to be sealant here. I would take that off. It might be black, it might be clear, it might be red. Now we're going to disassemble the whole transmission. Removing the bolts. So now we're gonna split the split the gearbox in half. So it should come apart pretty easily. There are tabs like this that we can tap on. There's another one. So we're gonna hold it and just rubber hammer. I can hear it, it's coming apart already. So let's split a little bit. There's another spot here that we can pry on. There we go, it's coming loose. So I'm gonna hold my hand in here. And tap it, tap it, tap on this side. So it comes loose. Keep on working it because the bearings have to come off of the um, uh, the gears. And it has to just keep on working it. Don't do not get in there with a the screwdriver and pry like this. You'll just damage the sealing surfaces. That's what these pry tabs are for. Do not jam it in there. Just sort of work it out slowly. There it goes. There she's open. It's pretty simple. It's just, you see that bearing's already coming all the way out. And that's, it's just three bearings, two seals, a plug, and the three shafts. So let's pull out that shaft. There she is. Broken shaft. And just pull off the bearings. We would pull them off. You may have to tap them off, but we have new bearings to go on with the new shaft. So we're not going to worry about this guy. We're going to set him aside because he's done. We have the whole dirty bike bearing and seal kit. Now, two more. Here's the input shaft. Just put it on the side and try to keep all of this stuff clean because it's got to be clean when it goes back together. You don't want any contaminants inside of your case. And then this idler gear, the center gear. Now we're going to have to get those bearings off. That might be a little bit tricky. Oops. All right, that one. So. Now we have this this bearing. Usually it won't it was not too hard to come out. You might be able to just do that. And it did, it came out. If so, if not, you can put a little heat on there and it should do the same thing. It should just drop out. Now, when you are replacing this, so you said, oh, why don't we just go in and replace this shaft? Because this is the only one broken. Something happened, some trauma happened to it, and it will damage the bearings. If you spin your bearings and you feel anything, any little notch or anything like that, it's gonna make noise. I put them together before going, oh, that bearing's not too bad, and it makes a lot of noise. That's why we're replacing all the bearings with the Dirty Bike Bearing and Seal Kit. So we'll set that aside. Let's clean the cases. All right, now we want to make sure that the gasket surfaces are clean. There is a, a gasket sealant on here. It looks pretty clean because when it was made it together, our machine surfaces. That's why you don't want to pry on them. So to clean them, just take a razor blade. Don't gouge in there, just sort of scrape it across and you will clean all of the old material off. 
see the flat. Feel it. That feels pretty flat. If you feel anything on there, get the razor blade in there and scrape it off. And that one is good to go. Same thing over here. Now we need to remove the seals. I'm gonna try it from the outside. Just being very careful not to damage the surface. Maybe put a rag in there. They should come out pretty easily. Like that. Next seal. down. Now, there's a little bit of sealant in there we can clean up. It looks pretty good. So just try your best to get all of the sealant off of the gasket surfaces and make sure it's nice and smooth so when we put the new stuff on, it seals very well. So now we're going to install the new seals. So we'll open the Dirty Bike Bearing Kit. There she is. So the Dirty Bike Transmission Rebuild Kit comes with the output and the input shaft seals and six bearings, four large ones and two small ones. So now we're going to first install the two seals, the input shaft seal first, making sure the surface is clean and pressing it in with our hands and possibly a little tap from a rubber hammer. Now, for the bearings, we have the two smaller bearings. They're going to go up here, and we'll push them in, hopefully by hand. If not, you always remember you're going to be pushing on the outside race if it presses into the outside. So you're pressing it in from this race like using a socket sort of like this, you'd push on it. You do not push on the inside race because that'll put tension on here and destroy the bearing. So you always want to tap on the outside of the race, either with the little the hammer or with the socket like this. That's it, it's in place. Good. It shouldn't take too much force. If you got it cocked, then it'll take a lot of force. Try not to cock it. Just sort of walk it down into it. Now, this shaft, we're going to have to pull these bearings off of here. They might come off easily. And they might need some persuasion. Let's see about this. Again, evenly pulling them up. Don't get it cocked, sort of just side to side to side till it comes off easily and evenly. There, voila. All right, then the other one. Evenly, evenly. Okay, 
then the new ones should go on just as easily. So this one, we're gonna press on. So if, we're, if we are, do have to tap on it, we're gonna tap on the inner race because it's getting pushed onto a shaft. If you beat on it out here, you're gonna destroy the bearing. So you have to tap on it on the inner race. First, we're gonna try to make it go in there just by hand. By, if it doesn't, like this one's not, we need to get a socket or something that will push on the inner race and not the outer. That's a little big, but it'll do. I'm just gonna. Or if you have to, you can do this, but just lightly until it locks itself on. If it still won't go, you can pl apply a little bit of heat to the outside because heat expands things or put the gear in the freezer that will make it smaller and make the bearing easier to go on. But it's going on right now, so we're just going to keep on lightly tapping on it. And you can also put it in a press or a vise. would help. Pretty good. Okay. Now the other side. At the top, you really want to be careful not get it cocked. Yeah, it's a little bit, but it's all right. So now she's back together. And clean, we'll set it aside, and we'll take the new shaft, the output shaft. And the bearing's the same thing, this should slide on there pretty easily. Or you can put them into the case. Let's, no, let's put it on the shaft. Notice I'm not putting a lot of force on it, and I'm only tapping on the inner race to make sure that I don't hurt the bearing. If you beat on the outside of the bearing, you're going to damage it. Now, the last bearing. There's the shaft in here. And we might need a socket to push it on. Can't get to that one. Let's see if we can just... There we go. That one's on, too. So now all the shafts are ready to go. One thing we'd need to do before we put the shafts through... This seal has some grease on it, but this one doesn't. You always need to grease the seals, and not just with oil, but with a good grease. All right, let's insert our output shaft. Walk it again, try not to get it cocked in there, but walk it in. There we go, now it's in place, it's happy. Now our center gear. And the input gear. After we've got all the gears in, all the bearings in, all the seals in, everything's cool, is we're going to reseal the gearbox and put it back together. So I'd like to use a little wooden block, something to just hold the transmission up and then make sure the surfaces are clean. So once the surfaces are clean and dry, we're going to add some sealant. I like using, well, this is a Permatex, but a Loct Loctite 518 or 515. It is an anaerobic sealer and it's red, but you can use 
any semi-drying silicone. I wouldn't use a pure silicone because it'll be very hard to get off next time, but a semi-drying like Yamabond, Honda Bond, or this anaerobic gasket maker. So you don't need too much. I'm gonna put a light film on this side and we'll put the cases back together. So this is a machine surface on machine surface. So if you haven't damaged it, all you need is a very thin coat like that. You don't need to have it gooping in where it smears out when you put it together. So one last check that there's no dirt or deposits in here, and we'll put this case half onto the right side case half. About ready to go back together. Missed a little spot right here. You want to get inside there also so you don't leak out of the bolt hole. So we'll just put a little bit. Again, it doesn't take much. Now we'll put it on top and put some bolts in it, get it back together. Torque these bolts to about 11 to 12 foot pound, not real tight. And we make sure she still spins. There you go, she's back together. Now we'll get her back into the bike.